I mean, can we just wrench this tank up to there and burn stuff? Like, we probably can, can't we? I mean, this is probably a stupid idea. This is my only air supply. But what happens if we just if we just take the air supply and hook it right up to the furnace? I mean, oxygen burns, right? What's up, guys? My name is Khan, and we're back today in Stationeers. And uh, I think we've got a lot of stuff to do this episode, so we're just going to... We're just gonna jump right in. I, I really want to try this episode. Power low. Power, fantastic, I love it. Um, so I, I wanna do a few things this episode. The first thing I wanna do is uh, I wanna expand the power network because obviously this one little battery and uh, is not doing enough at, in the sunlight and I wanna be able to install some lights. Uh, maybe put a second solar panel on there so we can have one aimed in either direction for now and not, we'll deal with auto tracking later, but uh, maybe put some second solar panels, a bigger battery pack, and then I also want to try and get up to the steel furnace portion where we actually have a steel furnace hooked up. So we got to hook up some piping systems and all that. We're not going to worry about the airlocks yet because we do need more advanced materials. So we do need to get that furnace set up. But I realized part of the problem I was doing last episode uh, is that I forgot to pull out the tablet. So if we take out the tablet here, we can actually turn this on. And I've already put in the uh, encyclopedia, but you can see all the recipes are in here. So if we, we put that away, we can actually go through all the recipes. And uh, and this was really the problem. So we've got, uh, you know, it'll tell us here, for example, you build this in the hydraulic pipe bending machine. And uh, and so for the steel, we're going to need one of those. We're going to need a hydraulic pipe bender. Um, it's, it's a requirement. And then to do more electrical stuff. So what I want to do for the electrical stuff to start, we don't need any of this. What do we need? So ingot, so you can see here, uh, we actually get into some crazy stuff. So si silicone, we do in a furnace, furnace, furnace. And you can see there, on all the stuff that we do in a furnace, it actually gives you the pressure and temperature you're required. Um, it's interesting, so you can see there, iron and hydrocarbon. Iron and carbon, nickel. So I'm pretty sure these single materials, like lead, silicone, iron, gold, copper, you can just do them in the regular arc furnace. But I think the ones where you have to mix two materials, like here, uh, we have to do three parts iron to every one part hydrocarbon uh, and same with there I think those ones you have to actually do in the the other furnace even though it just says furnace but uh, regardless we're gonna need a furnace uh, we also have to pressurize the furnace and we have to make sure we install valves so that we don't blow up the furnace uh, it's very possible to let the furnace overpressure and uh, and cause problems okay so we need to build an electronics printer so how do we do that so electronics printer kit Hydraulic pipe bender. We're going to need one of those as well. Electronics printer. What do you require? Oh, I can build you right off the bat. Perfect. We'll just do that. I did get some gold. You can see there. We do need a little bit of gold to build that. Lots of copper. We're going to need more iron, it seems. Do I have more iron in the belt? Let's see what we got here. Do we have more iron? Uh, what is that? No, that's coal. Okay, so we don't have more iron. So we're going to need to go get more iron. 25%? Holy cow, that is the slowest thing ever. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need more solar panels. Hold on. So what, what do we need for more solar panels? We're just going to come out to light here where it's actually enjoyable. We'll enjoy the, the five minutes of daytime we get every day. Um, solar panel, solar panel, solar panel, solar panel. Cartridge, circuit boards, circuit boards, construction, kits, kit. Kit solar panel. Where do you build that? Electronics printer. All right, so we build solar panels, and then we build batteries also with the electronics printer. Okay, so it seems like we just need an electronics printer to start. We're going to need more iron. So uh, while that thing's building, I'm going to go get more iron, and then hopefully by the time we're back, we've got uh, we've got some stuff to do. All right, so I've returned from the mining adventure. We have our electronics platter here. So we're just going to... Or electronics printer, sorry. Platter, yes. We're, we're feeding electronics. No, so we're going to just... Uh, we're just going to put this down here, I think. And, uh, and then we'll have to wire that up. So what do we got for... I'm going to need the wire cutters here real quick. And we'll just snip this. Some straight sections. Build a corner piece. So we got to just put the cable into here. Like this. And we'll rotate that piece like so. And then build sections of straight. Come on. Straight. There we go. Alright. So our electronics printer should now also have power. Alright. So we're going to need to build a battery kit. So we've got a battery kit here, electronics printer for a battery kit. Um, what does it need? Oh, it needs steel. Perfect. So we can't even we can't even build a battery kit. So you know what? We actually have to set up the arc furnace and uh, and be able to actually produce steel before we can even get to that. So we've got to we're gonna have to move this. Okay, so we're gonna have to set up a furnace. 
My goodness, this this game, I swear, it gets it's so complicated. All right, so in the middle of the night, we did grab some materials. Uh, if I can just swap my belts out here, here we go. So let's just uh, let's get this belt out. Let's just go to the backpack here. We'll put this other belt away. And uh, so I did grab some silicone ore, thinking of course that we'd probably need that for building some of the electronic stuff. Of course, I didn't think of the fact that we actually need steel, so we're pretty much we're pretty much stuck getting the steel furnace now. So that's that's going to be the next objective then. Okay. Uh, Hydraulic pipe render, let's go. Running low on power again. How's this battery? Can we swap you? Charge medium. You know what? That's better than what I've got. Swap. Alright, so we've swapped the batteries out. How long is this going to take? Probably another three years, another three years. I mean, we could go look for iron. Last time looking for iron in the middle of the night, which is what I did, was a very terrible idea. I did find a little bit of it, uh, but it's very hard to spot across the distance. So I think we're going to have to adventure out during the day. And, uh, I don't, I don't know how much time we got to do that right now. I could try going right now really quickly while this builds, but I have a feeling I'm also going to run out of time again. You know, let's just, let's just try it. No risk, no reward, right? So we'll, uh, we'll be right back guys. And hopefully I can make it back to the base again in one piece without getting lost. We actually, we actually did really good this time. We hit the mother load almost. We've got 126 iron ore plus a bunch of other random products that we're just going to bring all back, you know, good stuff. So, uh, and it looks like this hydraulic pipe bender is done, so let's just put this somewhere as well. Give a little bit of space in between the machines, and we can just hook this up. So again, we'll have to swap our belts out, so we'll just, uh, do this, swap this. Okay, good. And, uh, we need this wire cutter again. We'll just snip this. And we'll just, uh, grab the rest of the cables. Oh, no, other box. Other box. Come here, give me these cables. Okay, perfect. And then we're just going to uh, hook the rest of this up. We're probably going to need to build more cables, but I think I think we can do that no problem with the uh, with the wire machine. Hopefully we don't short anything out. I don't think we will because I think I think this is all just, you know, it's all just coming off the one power supply. We're not giving it a lot of power. Uh, how's this? Looks good. Nothing's nothing's burning yet. Nothing's exploding. The steel furnace has to be hooked into a pipe, which is then hooked into a portable fuel tank on the one side with a valve in between and then on the other side we need to have a um what do we need to have we need to have kit furnace right there okay we need to have a exhaust vent that goes to the outside also with a valve on it so we can bleed pressure otherwise we're gonna we're gonna be screwed and the exhaust vent has to go outside or else you know we're gonna die from carbon dioxide poisoning when we uh when we finally do get this thing up so there's a lot of a lot of stuff we got to think about so anyways first thing we need is an air vent an active vent i think it is and that goes on the outside right it looks like it goes on the outside that seems that seems what we're supposed to do i think an active vent is there a different type of vent like just an exhaust vent is there just like a regular vent or is it all just active vents kit airlock passive vent I think that's what we need to build is a passive vent. So we just need to put some iron in this thing. So let's uh, let's take some of this iron actually, and we're just gonna uh, we're gonna put some iron in here. Yeah, I think I think what we need is a passive vent. An active vent, I'm pretty sure has like an on-off switch and that sort of thing, and you can control it. For example, if we want to do an airlock, you'd have the vents uh, swap, I guess, between like you know. Um, whatever like pulling and pushing or whatever i guess or turn on and off the vent i'm not sure really how all that works again i'm i'm learning this game as i play guys i have honestly no idea all i know is it's super complicated and uh and a lot of fun but we definitely need more batteries so we need more steel we need to get a furnace going this is just okay we've got you know what i'm really digging the layout we've got a lot of equipment now okay we got iron here let's put the iron into this thing okay i need an active a passive vent let's build one of those Okay, perfect. We're gonna put you put you outside. Okay, this looks good. You know what? We're just gonna put the furnace right here in this corner, I think. So let's just go put this vent outside. Like that, right? Okay. And then that'll vent out our gases from the furnace. So now we need to get some pipe pieces. I probably should have just brought the pipe outside, to be honest. But anyways. Okay, let's just let's put this uh belt away here. No, not I don't want that. Uh let's just do this. Nope five there like this okay put you away we don't need the iron belt for now oh no 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 stop build i forgot you have to stop 
stuff from build. We just we just spent like twenty three iron on vents. I mean, we have like we have enough. We have. Oh my god! Why? Why? Why do I play this game? Why do I? Why? Let's get back outside. Let's hook up this pipe piece. We'll run some piping inside to the furnace. All right. I can't believe that. I just built like 200 vents. We do not need 200 vents. Okay. Does that stick through? It does. Okay. So I can just make this a corner piece here and do this. This is the nice thing too. You don't have to worry about clipping through objects. The game is really smart to understand, you know, when you're building certain things like pipes or whatever, it, it just naturally like puts a hole in the wall for the pipe to go through. If, if you want to think of it that way. But, you know, see, we can just build right into that, and then we can just, you know, adapt off this, and we can go like that. And that will be our, our furnace exhaust. So there we go. Okay, so let's grab our steel furnace again. We'll just swap this out for the furnace. And so I need the exhaust gas to go out. Which way is up, though? Okay, so it seems for some reason they want the furnace to be vertical, which I guess makes sense, but of course... I think you need like a two-story floor, so hopefully we have enough room there. I think ingots will be able to fall out the bottom there, no problem. And uh, we've got the exhaust gas hooked up, I believe. Furnace input, furnace output. Yeah, so that should be good. We've got our button here, we've got our pressure, we've got our furnace contents. Uh, so we should be able to take our mix here and put this in. We do need to hook up fuel supply. Fuel, there we go, we can put that in. Do we need... Okay, we got a valve there. We need a fuel supply, uh, but and that that's the data. Is that data connection? Yeah, data. I don't think there's an electricity connection though. I think this one's literally just a straight fuel supply, and we're good to go. Um, it's a little close to everything. We're getting a little bit jammed up. We are gonna have to rearrange this whole base eventually, but right now we need to get a fuel supply going. So to do that, we're gonna need a portable tank. Uh, we'll just move you out of the way because that's not gonna be our fuel supply. Okay, um, and we're going to take the portable tank and we're going to hook it up somehow. But first, we're just going to put a little bit of a regulating, not a regulator, but can we hook the tank up in that corner? Is that, you know what, let's just put it over here. I'm, I'm might run out of space. Okay, let's go here. Let's go straight. Uh, straight. Actually, you know what, let's put the valve on right away. Because that way we've got both our valves right here. So we're going to have to turn that on to bleed pressure and uh, turn this one on to allow the fuel in. And then I think we literally just have to put this hooked up like just straight and then just like your barbecue, we just hook a tank into that. Filter, pollutant, filter, filter, gas tank storage, kit, kit, kit. There are some people, I, I was, uh, I noticed there were, uh, there's so much stuff you could do with this game, it's absolutely insane, but there were, uh, there was a guy and uh, he did mention that one way to do this is to actually just make a room and then, you know, have an arc furnace in the room and basically create a room full of toxic gases and then have this get piped in from a vent inside that room. And so you're basically creating a, a room full of fuel gases and then piping in portable air container. Oh, conditioner. Okay, portable air conditioner, portable air scrubber, portable generator, portable tank. Portable tank. That's probably what we need is a portable tank. 20 iron. Okay, so let's let's get some iron going. I mean, can we just wrench this tank up to there and burn stuff? Like, we probably can, can't we? I mean, this is probably a stupid idea. This is my only air supply. But what happens if we just if we just take the air supply and hook it right up to the furnace? I mean, oxygen burns, right? Or am I going to blow something? You know what? Let's just save real quick. Let's go YouTube World 2, just in case we blow up the entire world here. Okay. So we're just going to take the wrench, um, the wrench, no, that's the drill, the wrench, wrench, right? And we're just going to, I don't want to increase, I want to, can I, can I wrench this boy up? Pipe valve, I don't need that, pipe volume pump, pipe air conditioner, where's like, is there a pipe hookup? Pipe gas mixer, pipe digital valve, analyzer. Gas tank storage. This game really doesn't do a very good job of explaining explaining anything to you as for how to do it. Is there a pipe adapter piece? I need a pipe adapter piece. Filter water, filter volatiles. I mean, eventually we're going to need to start actually mixing stuff with like a volatile ratio to an oxygen ratio. We're going to try this with just straight oxygen to start, but uh, like eventually this is going to this is this is a process, guys. This is such a process. Okay, we've got iron here. 
Let's dump this iron into here. We're gonna get this though. I we're gonna get this this episode for sure. We're gonna have this furnace and we're gonna smelt some steel and then life will be satisfying. Because that's like the main ingredient, it seems, that we need for everything is to get some steel gold. Okay, so we've got what do I want to build? I want to build a tank connector. I think is what I want to build. I think I need to build one of those. We're going to stop it as soon as it's done this one. We're going to wait here. Okay, done. No, I don't want... Really? You're just going to feed right in there? Okay, tank connector. This looks good. I think this is what we have to pipe. This will hook into our tank. Okay, yeah, no, this is exactly what we want. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay, and then we take this. And I think we just... I think we have to pick this up? Do we have to move it? Probably have to move it first. Okay. Okay, so we've got all our entire oxygen supply hooked into our steel furnace. Why are you bleeding so much pressure? This is off. Okay, okay, it was just bleeding pressure into the pipe. We're messing with the only air supply we have here, guys. And, like, if we, if we lose this air supply, we're actually completely screwed. Like the game, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be so screwed. Okay, so I've got 25 grams of iron and 25 grams of hydrocarbon. Uh, iron mixes at a three to one ratio, I believe. I am so scared right now. You have no idea. I am I am terrified of playing this game anymore. I'm like we've gotten so far, and I'm just worried we're just gonna we're just gonna break everything. I'm literally I'm terrified of turning this on. I mean, when that, the pressure bleeds, like, imagine you're on the moon in real life, okay? And you've been surviving on the moon, and you have one tank of oxygen, and then you hook it up, and you just see the pressure gauge drop. Like, this is like Apollo missions all over again. I'm, I'm terrified. Okay, right, we're gonna, where's, where's the iron kits? I'm so scared of this. You have no idea. Okay, where, where do we build steel? This is, this is the most terrifying experience. Okay, we're gonna save real quick, and we're just gonna wait for the sun to come up, and then... And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna get 50 more iron, and then once we get 50 more iron, we'll boot this up, and and see what happens. Do I honestly? Is there no electricity hookup? Do I just do I need a wire hookup at all? No, I'm like I'm just looking for an excuse not to do this. Can we? Can we just like why? I I don't even know if this is a good idea hooking up the oxygen tank. I mean really. Eventually, we need to have an oxygen tank and a volatiles tank hooked up, and we need to have a mixer that mixes the two gases together. I think on the next episode, we have to focus on, uh, one, expanding the power grid, and two, we need to start producing air, because we need we need air. We're going to run out of air eventually, and, and that's going to be a problem. So we need to have an airlock, and we need to start producing air in this building. But we'll need some steel, so we get steel to finish these wall plates up and all that. Alright, so as it turns out, I'm actually uh, a bit of an idiot, and uh, I didn't actually read the wiki. So I went back and checked the wiki, because, uh, you know, that seemed important to try to figure out why this works. You can't actually hook an oxygen supply straight into a furnace, so that's the first problem. Um, good news is we figured that out before we wasted the entire oxygen supply. Bad news is we wasted about half the oxygen supply trying to figure that one out. Which, I say we, but of course I mean me, but you know, it is what it is. So, the easiest way to get a furnace started initially, eventually we do need this, but we need to have an actual fuel tank. And to get a fuel tank, we need to start getting into gas mixtures and all that, so we'll do that. That'll be more once we've actually figured out how to start oxygenating this room. Um, but in the meantime, we can just take a really simple volatile mix and just dump volatile ore in. So we've got to just go really quickly, uh, while it's still bright out here, and just find a patch of that red volatile ore and we can just dump it into the furnace and that works as a crude fuel for now um i feel kind of silly for not reading the wiki and wasting half the oxygen supply but hopefully that doesn't affect the game in the long run and hopefully next episode we can focus on getting an oxygen supply at least a method of what i want to work on is trying to make a method where i can uh, take gases, ores, and stuff, and turn them into an actual thing. Uh, putting an arc furnace in a room seems to be the way people do it. I mean, we do have to get more power as well. There's a lot of stuff we need to do, but I think definitely getting and securing an oxygen supply or a way of producing oxygen 
is uh, is very important so that we can do things like fill up propellant tanks with oxygen or other gas mixtures and uh, fill up fuel tanks. We basically, we need a way of taking ore and turning it into gas and then harvesting that gas. Um, so I gotta, we gotta figure that one out for the next episode. But in the meantime, we're gonna melt some steel because we're gonna need steel for just about everything. And holy cow, another big crater. Again, we gotta walk down there to get it to actually spawn. I'm just looking for like a really simple... Just a patch of red, guys. Just a really simple patch. Uh, here we go. Perfect. We got iron. Oh, this is a good spot. But we eventually need to get to the point where we're actually making volatiles and we're turning volatiles into uh, into an actual gas. And then we're mixing our gas with oxygen. Apparently, it's like a three to one ratio. So you want three times the volatiles for every one unit of oxygen. So we'll need a whole piping system and mixture set up. And we'll actually have to have, you know, separate tanks for the fuels. And uh, ideally, we're probably just going to want to have two different tanks going into the furnace, an oxygen tank on one side, a, uh, a volatile tank on the other, and then have a valve mixer because we can set all that up. So I think that'll be the eventual point, but I think for next episode, we need to either focus on A, expanding the power grid, or B, building up the uh, the air supply. So let me know in the comments down below. Oh, God, that's a hole. Let me know in the comments down below what you think we should do. I mean, we might have time to do both. These are longer episodes, but um, who knows? We're, gonna, we're just going to... You know, for now, let's just get this furnace working because we really, really do need to get some steel. All right, so we've got volatiles. We're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna just drop drop these in drop these in here. Okay, it's building up pressure. Oh, okay, because the volatiles, I get it. They bleed off pressure. That's cool. So can we just? But why can't I activate this? All right, so apparently we can also use oxite. We don't just need volatiles. I'm still trying to figure out why I can't get this furnace to activate. I uh, I did go back and hook up a data connection to the furnace. I'm, I'm not sure if that's required or not, uh, but we're gonna put more oxide into the furnace and uh, and hopefully get this thing to actually fire. Because right now the problem is I can't get the furnace to turn on, which means I probably just have the wrong gas mixture. There we go, that's building pressure. Okay, that's good. So like, there we go. Oh boy, that's too much pressure, too much pressure. We'll open that up, let it bleed. Okay, and then... Nice. We have steel. 100 grams of steel. Is that it? Is that all? Nothing in the furnace? Can we turn it off? Oh, we can't. We just have to let it literally burn out. At 21,000 kPa, oh my god, how did we not blow the pipe up? Holy cow, 1,500, okay, so we just didn't have enough initial pressure, so we just need to build the pressure. Okay, that's good, we're, we're smelting ores, we're just gonna leave that open, we're gonna let it bleed out. We can't turn the furnace off, um, this is why we need a fuel valve. Okay, so eventually, you know what, we're actually doing good, we got 100 grams of steel. I'm just gonna plop this into here for now, so we have it stored somewhere. And, uh, and, and as much as that was a mission, I think we've actually done it, guys, so... Make sure you guys let me know uh, what you want to see in the next episode, whether that's, we're still low power, this is bad. Whether that's, you know, air supply, I think I want to focus on getting some gases mixed up. But now that we've got some steel, I think we can also do some solar panels too, and uh, maybe have more power supply and uh, get more lights in this place. But we're getting there. We have a working steel furnace that scared the living uh, bejeebus out of me. I honestly, this game scares me so much every time you're doing something, watching that meter just spike up. Uh, it's, it's just absolutely intimidating, but, uh, we're gonna turn this off now. We've done that. 48, yeah, you know, the pressure will slowly cool down. But anyways, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you, uh, if you do like this series. I am gonna keep going with it. We're actually getting somewhere. We have a bunch of crafting stations set up now, which I think is fantastic. We can produce steel now, which is fantastic. Uh, we gotta get this changed. I think we're gonna put two valves here. We'll have an oxygen tank and a fuel tank and have some sort of mixer. Um, we'll get to that eventually. Right now, we're just going to mine hydrocarbons, just kind of bleed them. But we do need to start actually producing gases. So we need to take the oxygen and the uh, volatile gas mixture and have a room where we can fill up fuel tanks from that. So the, the easiest way to do that, it seems, is just to have a room and just bleed the gases out in an arc furnace in that room and then harvest them. But I'm not exactly sure, so we'll have to take a look at that next episode. But make sure you hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.